All right, here we go once again. This is Don Jetta from Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, Eastern North Carolina. I'm going to show you this one more time because the last time it didn't work out so good. But it's just a motor on some wood. That's just real thin aluminum angle iron all the way to the end. I bet there ain't eight screws holding anything together down there. You probably can't see it. Screw holding on that little washer deal on the end. That's just a daggone rubber grommet with some Velcro in it stuck to the inside. Piece of wood with a little featherweight practice golf ball with the holes cut out. I nicked the top, threw some Velcro down on that. I got me a little curtain rod right here. It goes across and it just connects to right there. That just holds on the little graph that keeps me kind of straight. I got a strap going across there, holding that down. That's the rubber drum or rubber hose holding the shaft together. Three to stat off on. Thing works great, man. That part does anyway. Now, I've showed you how we do this. Setting up the machine. It's all nothing, just stuff in the shed, like I said. And all the gear that goes with it. I'm going to put this thing right here. We're going to try and show a little shafting on this. And I showed you part of how we go about getting the painting on the shaft. So now, I'm going to clip this thing on. It's spinning. I got it slowing down. And this is how we're going to do it right here. I'm going to start out with a little bit of white. We're going to just let it ride. I like to overdo it here a lot, so I don't know. You might might not like it for me, but we just hold that thing steady. Sometimes it takes a little bit. I like to strap it down every now and then if it wants to be a little too wobbly. Just put your little dab of white right there, covering up everything. We're just trying to make some, just something to set it off, set the colors off, you know, it's what, ain't nothing to it, man. And everybody can do it, anybody can do it, like I said. Don't take much, Stain your paint down good for these little fine lines. Hold the brush on there for a little bit. You might have to come back later, but it makes the edges of your lines real straight. I'll even throw something in the front, kind of keep it up to this and right here. And that's the deal on that. So now, I think I'll go for a little red on this. Got a little red. And people that can't hold it real good on their hands, I got this little rig right here. It ain't nothing but a piece of wood. Gives me a little more to keep my hand steady because I'm going to try to do a little thin line here just a little bitty thing trying to bring it together it don't take much fine lines wet paint thin paints way to go so that's that we're going to try a little bit without messing up too much but when you hold it on there, hold it on there, and let it spin around for a little bit. It's going to touch it and let go. That keeps them lines. It finally builds up a nice smooth line, even if the shaft is wobbling real bad. I'm not saying it's perfect. Might have to go over it again. But that's the deal on that. So I'll finish this up real quick. And then we'll be on to showing you how I do it. I ain't saying it's the way, the only way, or anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out I got me a little airbrush. I like to use the flat paints. Like I said, they got a better when it's all dry. They, don't, they ain't as thick on the shaft, but they all work good. So we're going to do that a little bit there. 
I'm giving a nice little thin one keeping that black. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a black line, white line, and a red line there. So we're going to do that. Then I'm going to bust out silver. Pointy brush, that thing's so fine, I bet it's dang. Stick it in your arm if you had to. So, and I just take this thing right here and I scribe it a little bit right there. A little more paint. I already thinned everything down where it's working good for me. And I like to put a little bit of stuff everywhere. I like to overdo it here, I don't know why, but never mind, it don't matter. But it just pops right up. It just pops right up. I mean, you could do this as complicated as you want. Sometimes when air conditioning kicks on, I got this thing turning so low, it draws the amps, cuts it right off, no big deal. Ain't nothing to it, redo it. So this goes this fast. I mean, I mean, I done drank a pot of coffee and I'm shaking like a leaf, but I'm still making it look good, I think. I hope you can see this. I don't know. It's just really happening, you know. But it goes. And I got my little air compressor kicking off over there in the other room where you can't hear it. I'm Take this shaft and do it. This is done for now. I'm going to clear coat this with some sealer. Turn it off. Unbelt that because that was a rough one. Take this out of the way. Pull that out. I got to slip my knock out of the little rubber hose. And I got this thing right here. Came off my buffer too. <laughs> Holds my arrows while I ain't doing nothing with them. Now that's that. So now here's one I'm going to put on here. I'm going to stick her in there. I like to get it set up where it's kind of smooth. Turn it on. I try to adjust the little rubber connection for the possibly smoothest deal right there. And that's awesome. God, look at that. That must be a good shot. Putting that down. My air compressor's running. I got a little Helmsman Marine Spar. And it works. You don't want to do this too much. You want to put this on there. You don't want to make it look shiny, dripping wet on here, because if it is, you're going to put too much on there. I like to find me a nice little spot where I can see something. Do like that. Do like that a little bit. If my wife could see me doing this, she'd have my ass skint for doing this in the house, but she's on vacation, so am I. And look at there, that's done deal on the finishing of the shaft. You know, this is simple, it's fun. I'm going to take these to the local archery place where they sell it. I'm going to try and make me some money. Maybe, you know, traditional people might not like it. Uh, Somebody might want it, you know. I put this seal on there. You can do it shiny or gloss. I had gloss. That's what I'm using. Might want to do some satin later on. I'm going to let it spin and dry for a moment. And uh, that's really all there is to it. I can shut it down. Once again, I can turn this thing where it's spinning so damn fast that it's about to fly away. But uh, all shafts are different. They all wobble at different speeds so yeah I find me one you know where it goes right about as slow as it possibly goes. Like I said when the current fluctuates through the house it shuts it down like that but that's a done deal and uh, I hope this works for people. I enjoyed it. Uh, it's cool man I had fun. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Later.